striking turn of events here. Let's look at the numbers for Westchester County Executive tonight. It is Latimer 59 to 41 over the incumbent Rob Astorino. It is a stunning turn of events for a race that one recent poll had called a dead heat. CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear joins us now live from Astorino's election headquarters in White Plains. Brian? Yeah, Christine and Maurice, a much different scene here at the ballroom where Astorino supporters are gathered. We have not seen or heard from the incumbent Republican just yet, but he appears to be on his way to an absolutely stunning defeat in the race for county executive. The crowd is very much subdued here at Astorino headquarters, and some people in the ballroom of the Crown Plaza Hotel in White Plains are very, very nervous. One supporter telling me moments ago, it is over, in his words. Turnout appears to be very high, as Tony mentioned, in Democratic strongholds like Yonkers, Mount Vernon, and White Plains. Voters there very motivated to go to the polls, many of them anti Trump Democrats. And there are more than twice as many Democrats as Republicans across Westchester. Latimer has maintained a double digit lead over Astorino since the polls closed. At times, he's been up by more than 20 points, in fact. Another factor tonight many are pointing to is the constant constitutional convention ballot measure that apparently brought out a huge number of union members worried that a so-called con-con could reduce their pension benefits. Again, we have not heard a concession speech from Rob Astorino yet, and his team is maintaining that this is still too close to call at this hour until all the numbers come in. Reporting live in White Plains, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News. Okay, Brian, thank you.